All right, you guys, this is a very sad day. I gotta say goodbye to my Lambo. Everybody say goodbye. It's been real. The truck just got here to take her away, you guys. Wow, I can't believe you're doing this. I know, I'm so sad, you guys. Dad, just leave it. How this happens to many of people in life. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm capping. I will be getting her back. This is why she's going, y'all. Look at that. I took her to Orlando. I took her on a road trip. And this is how she ended up, bro. You'll be back soon, okay, baby? You'll be yeah, back just soon. Leave her. Huh? How can just I leave, leave her? her? Why? She's leaving right now. It's fine. Say goodbye, Callie. We'll Bye. see you soon. So I'm trying to buck Kiki in Ugh. Trying to buck her? <laughs> buck <laughs> trying to you... buckle Kiki in her car seat, but she always buckles it herself. Uh -huh. So I'm putting her in, I'm trying to unbuckle her, and I said, Man, why do you always buckle this? It's so much harder for me to get you in. She goes, oh, that's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Yo, Mom and Dad. Whoa. It's got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to do with you? Mm -mm. You silly girl. Huh? You want to fly too? Yes. Let me see you fly with your wings. That's how you want to fly? Yes. It is about to be a super sad moment. This is always one of the saddest moments. All right, you guys, this is why it's sad. It's that time. We're saying goodbye to Eli. Yeah? Yeah, we're at a big airport. Eli, don't cry, buddy. Ah, this is why it's so sad, y'all. Ah. She is throwing a fit. She is dead serious. Like she is so serious. At both of us right now. Why did we not go on an airplane? I told her we were taking Auntie and Eli to the to airplane. To an airplane. And she took it as I'm going on an airplane today. And as soon as she recognized that we were close to home, she goes, "No, I'm going on an airplane. I don't want to go home." Yeah, she's upset Poor right baby. now. Here you go, babe. Thank you, babe. How are you feeling today? Mm, better than last night, but still pretty messed up. <sighs> Crazy times, y'all. Yesterday, I had to call the doctor to come because Trey did not look like himself. He still doesn't look like himself now, but... It was like 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. 2 a.m. My whole face started to get swollen. I've been feeling like super messed up but then all of a sudden like i was swollen here 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 my eyes started to hurt my head started to hurt and then it turns out i have like a super bad infection sinus infection sinus infection right? mm -hmm. yeah because you were getting ready to go to bed and then i was like like when you when you talk your mouth wasn't moving properly so mm -hmm. i was like i don't know i have like you know my medical mind i'm like I hope he's not like having a stroke or something. I don't know. <laughs> You're like, your face hurts. I was like, okay, no, let me try to get someone here ASAP. So long story short, um, he's okay. Um, still under the weather, but um, they gave you two medications. Plus, um, you want to tell them both the kicker? <laughs> Once the doctor, because he also did two tests on Trey last night. Um, did a COVID test and a strep throat test. They both came back negative. So after he checked all the X's off his box, he pretty much said, 
you know, you have a bacterial sinus infection, something like that. And then he's like, um, I can prescribe you the antibiotics, but it'll take a few days for it to kick in and for you to start to feel better. Or... Or he could give me an injection. And the injection will have antibiotics, steroids, and painkillers. So I was like, let's do the injection. Like, I'm trying to feel better now. Because I was like, I, I'm, I haven't been able to sleep. I've been like, it's been intense. So I'm like, yo, I'm trying to feel better right now. So he starts getting the um, the medicine ready, you know? And he's like, I guess he was like putting it into the syringe and everything. And he's like, so um, by the way, do you know where this is going? So I thought he was like asking me like where I want to put the injection. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, he's like, yeah, like he's like, I'm going to take the injection. He's like, no, he's like, I'm, I'm about to tell you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, and then I seen him look kind of, um, so he asked me, do I know where it's going? I'm like, I don't know. Why don't we just do it in my arm? Like that. That's where I think it would go. And he kind of made a funny face. And I'm like, wait, are you asking me or are you telling me? He's like, oh, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> sure enough, the injection. Well, injections, two of them, was in my... Um... Butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so funny though because as soon as he said I'm about to tell you where it's gonna go I'm like it's definitely going in his butt cheeks I just knew it because I had a splinter one time I tried out for volleyball and we were all sliding down the bench and I slid down the bench and sure enough got a splinter in my butt cheek <laughs> so my mom took me to the doctor after they took out my splinter same thing they gave me a tetanus in my butt cheek so I figured he made him put his sweater back on so why would he make you put your sweater back on if he knew where it was gonna go you know yeah. So, how's your butt cheeks feeling, though? They're fine. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It was just awkward, but yeah. it is what it is. I, I lay down on the couch, and I put my face right near Keisha. I'm like, it's okay. As long as I'm right beside my wife, I'll be good. <laughs> the doctor was super cool. He didn't yeah, make he it was awkward. cool. He was like, cool. He wasn't making it awkward. Just, like, fun jokes. Just to loosen us up a little bit, you know? Or at least loosen you up. Like, you know, just kind of yeah. make you feel comfortable and not awkward about it. Yeah, but then after the injection, the last so that was like I went to bed at like three last night after the injections, and that's like the first time I've been able to get sleep in a long time. Like I finally got some sleep last night. I feel a little bit better this morning, but I I just feel like I have to stay in bed. Like you know me, babe. I never stay in bed all day. The train never stays in bed. Sometimes I'm having a lazy day. He'll chill with me for like an hour. Then he's like, all right, I got to get something done because I can't just sit around. So this is definitely not like you. Yeah, but I just feel like I just feel like I have to. I don't feel like I have a choice. Yeah, so rest up, babe. I just brought you um, some egg bites. Um, food's on the way. I also need to order groceries. Y'all, it's December and our Christmas decorations aren't even up yet. Um, I'll talk about that more later. That's but. Right. Sorry to interrupt you. That's why I'm so pissed that I'm sick right now because we have so much stuff to do. We have so much stuff to House do. Stuff, work stuff, videos, Christmas. Huh? You said I could bring him downstairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Callie. Hey. <laughs> Who you got with you? Junior. Hey, Junior. <laughs> Are you finished your class? Yep, I read the book and I'm and I just finished and I got up and I was so excited because I could bring Jane downstairs. Perfect. <laughs> all right, y'all. So in other news, I'm trying to prepare all the art um, all around the house wherever it needs to be hung up, so that when the other stuff that we have going on is done, we can get all these stuff mounted up <clears throat> so that um, it's not on the floor no more picture over there i was planning on setting up this tree right here um but my man's sick so i might be doing it by myself got a little bit more work going over here it's almost done i feel like before christmas every year i do a toy cleanse as you guys know we're youtubers sometimes we get brand sponsorships um they send us toys and the kids love it obviously um, but it starts to become a little bit of an issue. So I'm trying to find the best way to let the kids enjoy the toys, but also not hold on to them for too long, especially before Christmas when they're gonna get gifts and things like that. So I'm about to reveal to you guys the toy closet. And when we first moved to this house, I was like, I do not wanna have 
toys on the main floor of my house because our last two houses, the living room was pretty much a playroom and a daycare at the same time. <laughs> so this is what I was trying to avoid and this is what we came up with, I guess, but I'd rather have towels or blankets and stuff in here instead of it looking like this. This is the toy closet. So as you guys can see, I have my work cut out for me. I need to donate these toys, most of them. I'm, I am aiming for, uh, I'm aiming for 90% of those toys to be gone. And there's toys upstairs in the playroom, which I'm gonna reveal to you guys. Mm. I still have a little bit more to do, but you know what? It's a work in progress. Let's just let's let's just let's just give it away, okay? So let's go upstairs. What's going on, my guy? Nothing, my guy. I'm not your guy. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. I guess I guess if I use the slang, then I'm subject to slang, right? Yeah. Oh, your bed is made up. That's nice. The room's a little bit messy. Uh, yeah. You finish your class? Huh? You just finish your class? Yep. Um, and I'm trying to clean up my room because I'm getting ready to go live. <laughs> You're not going live yet. But it starts soon, look. What starts soon? I don't care what time it starts. You're not going on right now. You have one more class. I do, so I have two hours? Yes. What? Oh gosh, Kira, what are you doing? I'm just, I'm just catching Mom, you a little bit. You <laughs> Black, he's white. He's so white and touchy and cute. Yes. Are you being a good girl? Yes. But, but, but he's so flabby. He makes like a lizard. No, he's not a lizard. Oh, speaking of lizards, come around. You didn't show them okay, um, show you guys. what you got for your birthday, your gift. He's in here. What? You guys, uh, it's a leopard gecko. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> he should be in this one. Wrong one, then he's in this whoa, one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Elbows are well ashy, Camaro. Stop. <laughs> there he is. Oh. I can take him out. Wow. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. <laughs> What's his name? Oh my gosh, he Enzo. jumped. You hold him? Yeah, hold on. So Camaro got a leopard gecko named Enzo. He's out of food. He's out of food. Yeah, because you guys. Oh, he just went in that one. Because you guys are not taking me to PetSmart. Yeah, because oh, wow. we, we were supposed to go <laughs> yesterday, but Daddy ended up feeling really sick. <laughs> We're going to They're dead. <laughs> okay, we'll go. We'll go in a few, okay? No, she knows. Look, put your finger. Right there. <gasps> wow, a cute bed. <laughs> so cute. Okay, now that I'm upstairs, you guys, let me reveal to you the playroom, aka Kiki's room, aka Kiki and Callie's room. Um, yeah. Okay, you guys. So this is the feature wall that I've been holding back from you guys. So the pink part is a herringbone. Um, design that I got done. I absolutely love it, you guys. It turned out so nice. I love the bubblegum pink paint that I chose. And then I got these letters made on Etsy. Um, at first, I wanted the letters closer together, but my mom was helping me look at it, and um, we decided to put them on each of the lines, and they're evenly spaced, kind of. Yes, they are. So I had to move the day bed out the way to put it up. I literally just put it up today. Um, and as you guys can see, I'm already in the process of a toy purge up here. These are stuffed animals. I wanna reorganize her toy bins. It's time for a purge, y'all. So I'll show you guys the room when it's fully put together again with a day bed underneath here and just the bed sheets on and everything. But this is pretty much what I was trying to get completed for you guys and also we changed the light fixture so that's how it looks with the light on so yeah hey boy you wanna 
You wanna tell you wanna you wanna tell them what happened to you? Oh. Oh. Hey girl. Hey girl. Nipsey's acting like nothing's wrong with him. So on Tuesday, Nipsey and Kane got fixed. Hallelujah! Yes. Nipsey and Kane got fixed. Um, so that's why Nipsey is wearing a cone. Kane is also wearing a cone. Um, because as you guys know, we do like to travel. Hopefully we'll get back to traveling like we used to again soon, but it's no rush. But when we do, um, a lot of dog, um, what do they, what do they call it? Dog, dog, Children? no dog, daycare, dog, yeah. vacation, dog, um, boarding house, boarding, whatever they call it. They don't take dogs unless they're fixed. And we think it'll help the dogs be a lot more calm. So yeah, they both got fixed. All right, y'all, now me and Nana made it to Home Goods, finally. Woo. Looking for stuff with gold accents. This is nice. But I don't know if I like the pearls. It's not giving what it needs to give. So hopefully we can find some nice Christmas decorations. All right, you guys, so I didn't end up vlogging the rest of the time we were in Home Goods. We actually found quite a bit of nice stuff, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, then we yeah, went so to, yeah, compared to Michael's. Michael's is empty. Michael's was so trash. Like, when I say it was so empty and quiet in there, you can hear other people pushing their basket. That's how bad it was. We didn't leave with a single, well, actually, right before we left, we didn't find any Christmas or decor stuff there. But I did find the gingerbread houses for the kids and I usually get it from Michael's anyway. And when I get home, I'll show you guys what I got. But now we're at Target. Fingers crossed Target has some good stuff because we're trying to, you know, we're trying to even the score a little bit right now. <laughs> we need some more things, especially Christmas things. So let's see what we find. All right, you guys, I finally made it back home. I actually had to stop and get crickets for Camaro's Leopard Get Go, as I promised him. So I'm back home now. We have Conehead number two. He came, me, boy. Hi. Oh, oh my gosh. He's acting like nothing ever happened to him either, but he does look kind of sad sometimes. Okay, dining table is here. I think I have too many chairs or the table's too small. Honestly, the table was not what I thought it was going to be. Um, but that's fine, we'll, we'll keep it for now. I'm just trying to get some more things into this house. Um, also, my couch is in this box, that box, and there's two more boxes over there, but I'm not opening them yet until the project is finished. Also, another piece of furniture here that's gonna be open hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully all these boxes get open tomorrow. And that home goods is still in the paper. I got this from Target. That's gonna be our stocking holder. I also got these um, place tables. I'm vlogging. I also got these, um, what do you call these again? Decorative plates. I got a lot of gold accents going on, you guys. I got a really cute lamp. Is gold your favorite color or something? Gold is the theme of our tree this year. So yeah, you guys, since my hubby is sick, I don't really know if we're gonna have time to shoot an intro and if we do it's kind of late now because it's like what december 3rd or 4th so i really don't know if we're gonna have a christmas intro we had it planned and booked and everything and then trey came down with this cold so i'll keep you guys posted but honestly hopefully fingers crossed that we get to film the intro also the tree from last year I want to put it right here in the stair area. This light needs to change. This light is not the same color as that light. I'm going to do that today. But this tree is going to get set up here. This painting was supposed to go here, but I'm wondering if I should put it up after Christmas or just say whatever and put it up. I'm still thinking about that. All right, y'all, it is like several days later. This vlog has been like a whole bunch of days put together. Wanted to give you guys a quick update before we end the video. I'm feeling much, much better, y'all. The antibiotics, the steroids, the painkillers. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Yeah, all the medicine I've been taking is making me feel way better. It was crazy, y'all. This is like one of the most random health issues I've ever had, but you know, long story short, I'm grateful that it could have been a lot worse. I'm back. I'm getting my energy back. I feel like so much better y'all so i almost feel like i'm back to normal thank you guys for all the love and we love you guys we'll see y'all in the next video make sure you guys go subscribe because if you're with the squad you ain't popping love y'all we out